I thought I'd uh, give you a demonstration of um, how little air it, or steam it takes to operate this engine um, since I've reworked the valves and done a fair bit of balancing on the flywheels um, it's before I start my demonstration I'll show you the air pressure that it's using at the moment which is according to this gauge zero that's obviously wrong but I'd say it's only using a couple of pound per square inch um, what I plan on doing is putting a small plastic bag over the exhaust um, so that'll demonstrate how much uh, gas, air, steam is coming through to operate it um, so I thought that might interest a few people so I shall demonstrate that in a moment I'm just lifting the exhaust up and I plan on stuffing it in this bag here gives a bit of an idea how little volume it requires to run it which is going to be very helpful when I'm fine tuning the boiler because it gives me a bit of an idea of actually what sort of volume I need to run it. I can get it to run slower than this but it's obviously when you get down to the threshold of stopping it may very well do that so As this bag fills and it begins to get a back pressure on the exhaust, it might stop it anyway, but we'll see what happens. starting to get a fair bit of pressure in it now I don't know if I'm going to be able to stall her out I'm starting to struggle on the exhaust stroke now I'm struggling to hold on as well that's it but as you can see there's obviously not much volume there so I'm very pleased with the efficiency I've been able to get into it. When I first made this, it was as it is now running on compressed air, but the compressor would start every 10 seconds. Now I can get over two hours on a relatively small compressor tank once it's turned off at about 115 pounds. I'll run it for a couple of hours, which is terrific. So that's it.